Hello guys, Nico here from Kika Marketing and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to export an animated GIF using Premiere Pro. I already have the app open here and I already pre-recorded the footage which is just me, you know, randomly browsing the Kika website. The footage is 10 seconds long so it's a good example for, for an animated GIF in terms of duration. So exporting an animated GIF using Premiere is really not that difficult. So you can just go under File and Export and then Export Media. So the shortcut for Mac is Command M. The shortcut for Windows is Control M. If you're not into shortcuts and you want to use the Premiere UI, you can go to the Export tab here and it will show you all of the available export options. So in our case, we're gonna use animated GIF. In terms of settings, there's really really not that many settings that we need to change in order for us to export into an animated GIF. We just need to, uh, yeah, under here, under uh, the video, video settings, we just need to untick these two options, which is the frame size and the frame rate so you'll notice that the dimensions of my footage is almost 4k because i recorded uh, the browser using my retina screen so that's why the dimensions is like really big so obviously we're not gonna use this original dimensions and we're gonna resize it based on web standards that the gif is uh, that gif is using nowadays so the usual width starting with that we can we can use is 800 px and just make sure that the, the lock icon is activated so that when you change the width the height also automatically changes so let's use 800 and upon hitting enter it's gonna proportionally resize the footage so in terms of frame rate we're not gonna use 50 fps because um, technically gifs are image sequence so the more frames you use the more image sequence is going to be you know inside the gif file so it means more images means means much more bigger file size so we're not gonna use 50 and it's really not common with gifs to use this frame a frame rate this high so we're gonna we're gonna use a standard value like 12 but unfortunately here on premiere for some weird reason, I'm not sure why they're using 12.5. I'm not sure why, why there's a 0.5 on the 12 FPS. Because usually, we use 12 FPS as starting point for the FPS. So in our case, we're gonna, it's much better to use um, whole numbers. And we're gonna use 10. Because um, if sometimes if, we're, if we use 12.5, uh, for example, or, or a non-rounded number for the FPS, it might introduce ghosting on the GIF. So it's like when the GIF is playing, there's some kind of a echo or a ripple effect on the animations. So we're just going to use 10. And the uh, two frame difference is not, not that really, you know, noticeable once you, once you render it out. So we're going to use 10. And the field order aspect, you can just, you know, leave this as is. You don't have to worry about this. Same with the advanced options here via the more button you can just ignore this so yeah it's there's just two settings that you need to change in in premiere in order to uh, render an animated gif and uh, just make sure that your output location is already set up here and just click on export so now it's um exporting and rendering the footage into gif and if we go here, our file name is called sequence01 gif. So I already have it here. Sequence01. So here, um, you'll notice that the gif is pretty good in terms of quality. You can still read the, the copy. The animations are still snappy. But you'll notice that the file size is a bit on the on the higher end so it's like roughly 8 mb and it's not really advisable to use a gif with like this size i know that the that you know 8 mb is like a small size with today's internet it's much internet is much more faster 
compared to a uh, year many years ago but if you're gonna use a gif in a website where speed is paramount it's advisable to optimize this gif even further using um online transcoding tools or p tools which i'm gonna show you on the next video so for now let's just uh, focus on you know how how to export a gif using premiere and i'm gonna show you how to optimize it on the next video so see you on the next one